All right, guys, listen, I don't normally show my face when I do the videos. I normally just show my hands because all you're interested in is um, how I prefer, prepare food. Um, and so I don't normally show my face, but today I wanted to show my face because I wanted to say to you that you please take care of yourself. Take care of your health. Make sure that you're eating properly. Make sure that you're exercising because we only have this one body. And so, you know, I just really want to just stress how important it is. I have, you know, lost your people prematurely. And part of the reason, um, you know, was over being overweight. And it could have um, changed the whole game if they had just been, you know, a, a little lighter, maybe exercising and taking better care of themselves. So we can prematurely take ourselves out. And so I just want to just stress to, again, take care of yourself. these in the grocery store and you walk right past it because you didn't know what it was or how to cook it it's a spaghetti squash and I'm going to show you how to prepare it it's a whole lot less calories than regular spaghetti noodles so I use this in lieu of spaghetti noodles when I don't use zucchini noodles um, but this is of course easier to prepare you don't have to have a machine or anything like that with zucchini squash and so I'm going to show you how to do it real simple um, you actually just take this and you put it in a pan and don't pay attention to my pan well no pay attention to my pan this pan has been with me throughout the years for over 36 years now it's not dirty it's just been used a lot but i love it and i'm not gonna get rid of it so anyway to answer your questions before before somebody says that's to be using the dirty pan all right so anyway you put the squash in the pan put some shallow water in here um, and put it in the oven and bake it on like 350, 375 until this is tender to the touch. You don't want it to be mushy to the touch because if it's mushy to the touch um, and it caves in when you you know touch it and it doesn't bounce back, then that lets you know you cooked it too long and your squash is probably gonna be mushy. So just bake it until whenever you press it, it's just you know slightly tender to the touch on the outside. All right, and then I'll show you how to get the squash out once it's done. All right. Finish showing you how I actually prepare my spaghetti squash. I've already cooked it, um, baked it in the oven. I've already shown you that. So now I'm going to show you how I get the spaghetti squash out of the shell and then what else I'm going to do with it. All right, guys. So here is the spaghetti squash. And as you can see, the inside here it has like um, seeds and just like some yucky looking stuff. You're going to take a spoon and you're going to hold that out. But then around the edge, as you can see, it looks like um, carpet, really, is what it looks like right here. So we're going to get that out with a fork, but when it comes out, it's going to come out like spaghetti. Alright, so I'm going to take my spoon, and I'm going to try to see if it will let me... You have to kind of dig down deep, and you may take a little bit of the um, meat out, squash meat out, because it's going to have all these seeds in the middle, but that's okay. As you can see, you see how it's pulling apart like spaghetti? All right, so I just take all that out because it has the seed, seed in it. So now what you're left with is this. All right, so you're gonna take a fork and you're gonna pull it like that. And you're just gonna take it and continue to do that until it comes out. You see how it's coming out like spaghetti? Just keep scratching it with the fork. And as you're scratching it, all of that squash meat comes out. But it comes out and looks like spaghetti.
All right, guys, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to actually stir fry. I'm gonna stir fry the um, spaghetti squash, and I'm gonna use grapeseed oil. So I'm gonna put a little bit of grapeseed oil in my wok. A little bit in my wok. My handsome husband got it for me. He's always getting me little tools to use in the kitchen. So I'm gonna put some um, red onions, some or purple onions, some um, probably some cilantro, maybe even some parsley, and um, some vegan butter. And I'm just gonna do just a little stir fry with the spaghetti squash. And then I'm gonna make me some tofu nuggets. All right, so with my tofu, I just pulled it out of the pack. I didn't press it or anything. A lot of times people press their tofu, but I'm not pressing it. And I'm just gonna pull it apart instead of cutting it, so, you know, so it's um, neat and all that. I'm just gonna pull it apart so it resembles pieces of, you know, chicken. Um, and this is firm. And then I'm going to put it in a Ziploc bag. That one's real good. All right. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna season it with all my seasonings, my Mrs. Dash, um, garlic powder, onion powder, uh, turmeric, my um, nutritional yeast, and then I'm gonna put a combination of flour on it. My uh, coconut flour, my um, almond flour, any type of flour um, you know that is not uh, does not have the carbs in it. And then I'm gonna batter it really, really good. Put all that in the bag, batter it really, really good. And then I'm gonna put it on parchment paper in the oven and let it bake. And that's pretty much it. Okay, so I put all of my seasonings um, on my tofu. Um, so you can just kinda, you know, whatever seasonings you like, just put it on there. And then I'm gonna put some Nutritional yeast, which is what I put on everything. It's nutritional yeast. And I got this off of Amazon. And I'm kind of real liberal with this. I, I kind of go real heavy on that. Because it just adds such a nice flavor to it. Alright, so I'm going to close my back off. Get all that nutritional yeast on it. And then the last thing I want to do is put my flour on it. Three flours. I'm going to use sprouted wheat flour. I've shared that with y'all before. I'm going to use coconut flour. And I'm going to use almond flour. So I'm going to use a fourth of a cup of coconut. A fourth of a cup of almond. Sprouted wheat, and that's my handsome husband over there getting ready to cook him some fish. You're not cooking no fish? What you cooking? Oh, he's frying some chicken and cooking him some. Cooking him some. Um, what's that? Some fish. Yeah, he's frying 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 some fish. Yeah, and I was like, I'm like, no, it doesn't bother me because I've been a vegan for over five years now, so it doesn't bother me. So we're going to get ready to fry some chicken. All right. So this is what they look like once I finish 
battering them. There you go. So I'm going to put them on parchment paper and I'm going to spray them with a little bit of nonstick spray and bake them in the oven until they're done. Okay, so I have them on parchment paper. I sprayed them with a little bit of nonstick spray and I'm going to put them in the oven on 450 and let them bake until they're golden brown crispy. Alright guys, so I have my grapeseed oil in the wok. I'm going to put a little bit of vegan butter. Just a little bit because I want my uh, spaghetti squash to have like a buttery taste. So I'm going to put that in there. And I'm going to saute my purple onions, my parsley, some scallions. And then I'm going to season it with all of my Mrs. Dashes, garlic powder, onion powder, and um, uh, salt for life. This is amazing. Um, uh, someone, a friend of mine, recommended it. I found it on Amazon, and it is a whole lot less sodium in it than regular salt. And I don't have my glasses on to tell me, but honey, can you tell me how much sodium? It says it is versus regular salt. So 140 milligrams in this versus 300. So that's, yeah. So you don't really need to use a lot either, especially if you use a lot of the Mrs. Dashes, because that, of course, gives you the seasoning and the flavor that you want. So I'm going to let that get warm, and then I'm going to go ahead and start cooking my spaghetti squash. And then I'm going to put on top of it my pieces of um, tofu chicken that I'm baking in the oven right now and that's going to be dinner all right also if you want just to put like some a quick topping on top of it because I'm going to stack everything you can use um, your favorite tomato sauce and put that on top or you can make it homemade from scratch it's entirely up to you but I think today for time's sake I'm going to use classico I like it it has a very good taste to it and it is vegan Alright, so my oil is hot, so I'm going to go ahead and put my parsley in there. Go ahead and put my scallions in there. Go ahead and put my purple onions in there. everything down and then I'm getting ready to add the spaghetti squash and I'm not gonna cook it long because it's already done. Just wanna season it. Just for garnishment purposes, just I like just putting so it looks you know good in the pan. You plate when you plate stuff, it needs to look look palatable. All right, so that's what it looks like. That's the spaghetti squash. So we're gonna top it with the chicken nuggets and the tomato sauce. All right, y'all, I'm getting ready to plate my dish or plate my meal. So I'm going to start with 
the spaghetti squash. Tofu nuggets. Here's how to make the sauce. And some vegan Parmesan cheese. All right, there you have it. All right, y'all, listen. God has created an amazing day, a great day just for us, and He is allowing us to manage it. So manage it well. There you have it.
Okay guys, my um, spaghetti squash is out of the stove. Now I'm going to show you how you can determine whether it's done or not. So I'm going to press it. See how I pressed it and it bounces back? See? And it bounces back. That lets me know it's done on the inside. All right, so now I'm going to let it cool first before I handle it because it's extremely hot. And you're not going to be able to hold the squash out that way. So let it cool. And once it cools, then I'll come back and show you how to get the spaghetti squash out.